Are you trying to tell me it's time for breakfast? <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> oh, we're not getting on the counter. <laughs> no, I don't think you need to be up on the counter. <laughs> That's going to get hot, so you can't be up there. Okay, breakfast is ready. Pineapple, strawberry, Colton's favorite, little pole of sausage, egg. Are you hungry? <laughs> I guess that means he is. Super excited, you guys. Me and Colton. Uh, I'll probably do it while Chloe's napping because she's still a little bit little. She'll definitely get to enjoy eating them. I got the Southern Coconut. Duncan Hines, it's Dolly Parton's. I don't know if it's a recipe or what, but yeah. And the Buttercream Frosting. Coconut flakes he can sprinkle on there. Some fall colored sprinkles. Yeah, I'm excited. You guys, I'm not 100% sure. Show them what you found, Bubba. Show them. Show them what you got. So these, I cannot remember the exact name. I'm going to have to Google it. But I found these laying on our ground in our backyard. And I was like, let me see. And sure enough, that's what's inside. <coughs> these are laying everywhere. So they're not quite ready. As you can see, I just, they're nuts. I don't know what kind though. I can't remember. But um, I know when I was little, my papa used to have one of these trees. We used to eat them all the time, but I cannot remember the name of the nut. But I'm so excited. That was a fun experience. I took this, done it on, showed them how to open it on the side of a thing until you can peel it open. And this one actually had a big one. What is that? Is, Mama. that, is that a nut? When Daddy gets home, we might make him help us collect some. Mama found another one. Look. I thought I seen more. I guess I'm blind. Found another one. I found another one. You want to open it? They're pretty soft right now, so I've just been whoa raking it until I can get down to the nut. Let's see. There we go. God, oh, that's two big ones. That one's really big. Cool. So when Sean gets home, I'm going to make him help me crack all these open and see what kind of nut this is. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I'm so excited. That like made me feel like a kid again. Hey bud, you want to go see Mamaw? Mamaw. You want to go vroom vroom? Go see Mamaw. Bubble. Here. Here. So bye. You got this. Ready, buddy? <laughs> I love it. No lip. We're going a thousand yards, and I'm doing about ten mile an hour. So when the notion comes along, you must sip it. <laughs> Think that worked? I got your grandchild. Bye. You gonna have fun? Bye. <laughs> you know what? I've been having dreams about this property, and I kind of like what my dreams has led me to do. I don't know when, but one of these days, I'm going to have me a shop right here. I talked to you in the last video about us moving into customs. We've been running a name around with each other, and we're kind of digging the Hammonds family customs. Flood didn't really bother this. If I fixed the drainage in the ditch, everything would have been fine here. That water would have went down the hill and went right where it was supposed to went. No trees in the area will fall on any building here. If you dream it, do it. I've been having this dream a lot about this very spot, and I think I'm going to follow it. I know.
Are you guys cozy? Oh man, you got your pallet bed on the floor. She's into this movie, ain't she? Well, it's nice to see you home. Missed you, bud. You getting some num nums? Where you been, down my mouse? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do? Did you play? Mm. Your sauce, did you like You're always one? covered in some kind of sauce. She is a saucy child. It's bath night. That's all I can say. It's bath night. Now it's time to turn into this. I'm hungry. It's looking like we. It's all right, Mama. I think we're getting a pet deer, y'all. She just hangs out here. I think this is like the third video she's appeared in. She'll normally let me get pretty close to her. She got a hurt leg, though. I don't know. What caused it? You can see it there on the left, swelled up. Another reason I love living here. I think it's the first time y'all got to see her good. Say hi, everybody. Getting that gut on. Just getting ready for that winter rest. I'll let you be, Mama. Finally getting a chance to put the new vest to work. I hope that's pointing directly behind me. All right, so I know we've been on this piece of property several times, but I want to come up here and see what happened after the flood because there was a lot of water come pouring down this mountainside, and I want to try to see if I can see actually where it's coming from. I mean, look at this. There's trees down everywhere. And up through that holler, it was a raging river. Let's go up here and see it. You can see how much water come down through here. This is a road I could drive my four-wheeler on. And it's as high as my snake boots. It's kind of cool because, though, it's like it's steps. Tell you what, though, I'm going to have plenty of firewood. I choose to go with a wood burner. I can tell right here, this was just flowing water. Look at all this. Just this ground, this tree picked up and moved. Because there was the road. All this just shifted down. Right there. Even got some coal. Little work, gosh, and might this whole ridge just sit down. Yo, this was a lot of water in just a short period of time, but the thing was, it had rained. So I'm hooked up on somebody on the back. All right, problem averted. I got hung up and it flipped that camera upside down. Look how this ground just separated down through her. It just dropped. There's just pods of trees down absolutely everywhere. It was right there. You can see this one going across. I should have went the other way. I believe I took the difficult path. This is where I was trying to get to, but I wanted to see what that road looked like. This was nothing but a raging river. Where did that water come from? And if we hadn't have done this property, you know, this holler right here went straight to the back door of that trailer in that backyard. And if that water hadn't have went this way, hadn't have went that way, some went down, some went across, there is no doubt in my mind that that trailer wouldn't be there or anything down there or business or anything. So. This property, it held and it kept that safe down there. So if that was the blessing of getting this property done, then I'll take that. Like this was no little runoff. This was, this is as far as I've been up so far. And I just see a whole another just pile of debris and trees. This is mind 
blowing at the amount of water that just come down through here. Like, I don't even know if the camera does it any justice at how much water this was. I'm gonna try to get on this little bit of a road up here. I always walk down. But it don't look like I'm gonna be able to. And I don't get it, there's no pond up here to break loose, but something broke loose. Look at this. And it just looked like a bomb went off in here, all the way up through this one path. Another huge mudslide. This path of water. There's a broken tree. It's just splintered. Like it makes no sense. This is a lot of water. That's a good 40, 50 foot across. Just a trail of destruction as far as I can see. Like this is where that big X was. It's gone. Nope, there's the X. It's still here. Well, let's just say our luck the last few days hasn't been the greatest in the world. That footage you just seen was supposed to have been a Bigfoot Chronicles, but uh, I don't know what was going on. As soon as I got up in the hills, I probably hadn't been up there 10 minutes, both GoPros crapped out. One of them crapped out, like fully charged. This GoPro lasted till I was to the first little mudslide where the trees was down. The back GoPro shut off. The front GoPro shut off. Right when I was starting to go up, I it just discharged. And then, even worse, the camera I use, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it was that scene where I done the four-wheeler and got dust in the lens, but on this little pancake lens, that has a aperture that comes out. So I don't know if it got dust in it, what it was. I had to order a new lens. That one is shot, so I don't have a camera to pack around unless I want to pack that big 90D around, which I may end up doing. I like that camera. Hi, Meanie. You He's having bite bites, What bud. is this, Bubba? Right here. Egg, sausage, biscuit, and grape. You didn't know me. See, you, you got the, the dead pig on there. Me, myself, I'm just going with a mater. Well, you have your mater, I'm having my sausage. I don't know if y'all like me, but I for breakfast, you give me a good biscuit on tomato, and I'm happy. It don't have to be eggs, or sausage, or bacon. I'm, I know a lot of our channel is you know, revolves around food and you've not seen a lot lately. It's just, uh, I don't know what it is. We're going through one of them phases again where just nothing really sounds good to us or appetizing. I don't know what it is. We go through it quite a bit. It's just, I don't know. We've been eating sandwiches and stuff. Just food hasn't been cutting it lately. We are going through one of our phases. We do this a couple times a year. Like, we're hungry, but we're not. We, we want something, but we really don't. Y'all know, I'm sure everybody does it. You're at the store and you're like, it's the same stuff on the shelf every time you go. And so you're just like, I want completely new food, but you know, that ain't gonna happen, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it food boredom. Even the kids are just, they don't get excited about food. They're in, both of them are in that grazing stage. So we've kind of adapted and went into that grazing stage. Cause even when we cook dinner, a lot of times the kids just nibble and they don't really eat, but you know, through the day we'll fix sandwiches or stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, our problem might be. Okay, hear me out. Summertime, it's hot and it's humid, so you're not as hungry. Fall and winter start creeping in and you're starting to get into them heavier foods, more pastas, more, more meat, more potatoes. And so your body's kind of like, you know, <laughs> you're getting transitioning into that I need to put some chunk on my body to get through winter. That must just be instinct for us humans, but we eat more and thicker in the winter time. I think it's just food boredom. But as always, we'll get through it. Now that I'm done with my biscuit, I'm gonna get on to this. A lot of people have asked us what cameras we use to film our vlogs with. Me, my daily pack around camera is the Sony ZV-E10. We've had this camera for a little over a year. Like, I think we got it when we first moved in here. I have mixed emotions about this camera. The sensor on it is really small. It's like, if you'd noticed, in the part where we was making the, the Polish sausage. 
that there was some scene, scenes that it seemed like it was rolling a lot. The rolling shutter on this camera is atrocious. And it's because of the small sensor. And that's why I, I got this camera and then I never really used it. And also like if you move, it really warps the background. Ever since both my GoPros is crapped out, I don't know. I just, I started using it again. I'm not a great big fan and not to mention that that lens is so sensitive that any little bit of dust gets in there and the lens fails, it won't read the lens because the motor locks up. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this camera. Little Mama loves this camera I'm using right now. This is the Sony, the ZV-1. I don't know, it's got a tight crop. This camera is a lot farther out away from me than what it looks like, because if I hold it like I do a normal vlogging camera, right here I am. So, because of the motion stabilization, you gotta get this thing way out there. My favorite's my Canon, but it's a like a huge, heavy camera. It's hard to get into positions. The image quality is so good that any little tweak or move, it just, it's real vibrating. I don't know, I've got another lens coming for it too, because I really would like to start using it, because that Sony, I'm just not a fan of Sony cameras. Megan likes them, not me, I'm a Canon guy. Canon has the best quality. Now the sound, I gotta give these cameras credit. They have a built-in large microphone, so it picks up more and it picks up 360. With my Canon, the sound is not that great, and you gotta have a shot shotgun mic to really get that audio up there. ZZE10 is my daily and the ZV1 is Little Mama's daily. It's a point and shoot when this is more of a professional camera where you can change your lenses and, but I can't say that I'm a great fan of this. Would I say order it or buy it? It depends on what you're doing. Low light, this camera does not do any good. Now, if you want to really get a good entry level this zz1 is a good entry level it does great at night the sounds good the motion stabilization is good but like i said you've got to get really far away from yourself or you're going to look like it's cropped in so tight on your face you're going to see every little pore you got and not to mention in post when you edit you have to do a little color grading to this zv1 to get it looking a little better because sony just does not have the color science that canon has and i don't know i may end up getting the canon 10 to 18 millimeter and start using my canon a little more because i mean just with anything i'm going to get used to it just like i did before but with that being said why are you washing dishes by hand i don't know why are you asking me that because i got a dishwasher you got a dishwasher and you're washing dishes by hand well because it's uh your mom's coffee because it backed up that one time and it freaks me out. That wasn't even in this house. And it stopped up here. Yes, it did. It didn't stop. It drained after the flood, but it's still. Use your dishwasher. Ugh. All right, back to what I was saying before I got distracted by her hand washing dishes with the dishwasher. Are you ready to get out of your chair? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready to get out of your chair? All right, with that being said, I know this wasn't as long as vlog as normal. We just had a lot of bad luck, and it really got on my nerves to the point that it knocked me off my feet. But Lori's back to work. Things are flowing good down there again. So now it's time for me to start picking this camera up every day and start talking to y'all again, showing you what we do, sharing our lives with you. Dad, dad. Yeah, just dad. <laughs> All right, guys, we love y'all, and until the next time, stay positive. Stay country, y'all. Yeah, with my spurtle. And stay true to your roots. Bye. Until the next time, we'll see y'all on that countryside. Go, go, go.